I can see it from their perspective as well. Like I can empathize why player itu ternyata lebih milih main ke tim lain terus. Okay. But the most important thing is just the GI, right? Of course. So, guys, we're on the last topic of this conversation, this podcast uh, that going nowhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, podca- uh, the last topic that I want to talk with you guys is about the prediction of the Southeast Asia Regional Finals. Let's um, let's pretend that all the rumors is happens. Let's say Boom get 20, 23 Savage or, uh, or Jackie and T1 get Anna. And uh, who's the next one for the regional finals? Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. SMG and Fnatic. SMG and Fnatic. Fnatic didn't change their rooster, and SMG also didn't change the rooster. Who's gonna come on top uh, as a, as a champion of the regional finals? Mike first. Well, it's so confusing now with these roster changes, isn't it? Because if you asked me before the roster rumors came around, it's easily T1 or Boom, right? Like, it, it can't be the other two. But now it's like, well, hold on a minute. SMG and <laughs> Fnatic, suddenly they look a lot stronger now, right? Because those, those one those one player changes, they, they make a big, big difference, right? Mm. So I'm kind of, I'm still very confident in Boom Esports. I think Boom's going to pull, pull it off, mostly because I have faith. That even if their pos one does not perform, you still have Japoy, and Japoy will just carry the game for you. <laughs> oh, that I is th- my theory. However, okay, I I'm thought you, gonna... I thought you're gonna say that you have a faith in Tino and the Grand uh, and the Regional Final, but you just <laughs> say it's on the chat point. Okay, go on, go on. Sorry. T- Tino can't catch a break tonight. Tino's going. <laughs> nobody's backing Tino tonight. Oh, uh, sorry, Tino. I, I'm gonna go for an underdog here, right? Okay. Because of the roster changes that might happen. If the roster changes happen, I think SMG might surprise us. I am I don't know, I, I think they might come out of nowhere. They've been looking stronger as time goes on. They're a sneaky team. They tend to improve when you're not watching. I think SMG could pull off a miracle. I know it sounds crazy. I think it could happen. I think it could happen. Okay. John, your time. Yeah, you definitely sound crazy there, Mike. I'm not <laughs> buying into that SMG stuff. I, I, I love the guys in SMG. You know, especially who, who is it? Afu is a really great Afu guy to talk to. Oh, Mid one as great. well. Mm-hmm. Mid one's he. Mid one just rides that character even in interviews. So I love talking to him. But I think my power ranking would be Boom first. Oh, I'd honestly say Fnatic second. I think Fnatic. I mean, we, we were saying this right. Like when we saw Fnatic in second half, they just looked insane. If Boom faced Fnatic in that second half after what happened to them with T one, Boom might not have won. I think Fnatic's finally getting grip, and I think I'd see Boom first, Fnatic is second place. Third place is a bit hard. I mean, I'd honestly say that's hard for me to call, because I feel like T1 would either, you know, T1 would say Ana. If you you say SMG. Sorry, There was a leak today on Twitter. There was a leak today with the two names you're thinking of. So I yeah exactly. I think it's safe for you to say the names that are rumored. Yeah, yeah. So if, if T1 rumors to get either Anna or Gabby over over SMG, I don't know. I feel like that's contingent on whether or not it's Anna or Gabby. If it's Gabby, T1's last. <laughs> if it's Anna, T1's third. Okay, that's okay. that's my take. If, if it's I'm sorry, Gabby. I think Anna might at least bring some weird weird freaking picks for T1 to play with. Okay. Uh, but I think when it comes down to it, yeah, it's like first boom. Second Fnatic, third T1 or SMG, fourth T1 or SMG. That that one's the nebulous one, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think I think that's the the last part. But last but not least, uh, what are you guys expecting of about the the next chapter after after the regional finals? What are you? Uh, I think uh, we still expecting a major, of course, after the a new mm. season start and after uh, the season uh, finish, we're expecting a, a major, but. Uh, you know, we we cannot predict the future, right? Uh, on the, even in uh, even there is no COVID situation, we we, we still cannot predict the uh, the future. Uh, if it's gonna be held uh, the major or not. But what are you guys expecting, John? You first. I'd say 
no major changes for Tour 2. I think that's expected considering last year with DPC, there were no major changes between seasons. Same with tier, Tour 1, Tour 2, Tour 3. Nothing's going to change in format. I expect the Major to actually kick off, mainly because they've had more time to plan, which is actually a thinking about that have they i think so because my main our main concern going in for tour one was always the first major because i think behind the scenes we're already having conversations where you know the organizers kind of got told what region they were doing almost last minute and the major was very much up in the air i think tour two's major should kick off simply because they were told like at least three months earlier compared to tour one so there's more time to adjust, and that should go off with a breeze. I think for Southeast Asia, considering the roster changes we do have, there's a potential for the top four to shift, the top three. I'm still expecting Boom to come out on top. But to be quite frank, I think Boom is just has shown a consistency that we haven't seen from Southeast Asia in a long time. Okay. Everything else is nebulous, but Boom number one is still what I expect for Tour 2. It's still early, but that's what I think. Okay, Mike, your time. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I, I want to say, could you imagine the second major got cancelled? I mean, could you imagine? Oh, God, no. Imagine? Please, please. Dude. Could you imagine? I mean, how oh, terrible. Man. I, I, I think, first of all, if that does happen, Valve, please step in and just run the major. I mean, it's... Apologies to Valve, by the way. Again, I blamed them before, you know. But, <laughs> you know, the second major almost definitely has to happen. If it doesn't happen, I mean, the, the outrage is going to be ridiculous. Uh, in terms of teams being at the top of the region... I kind of agree with John. It's probably going to be Boom Esports. Regardless of who they get for that pause one role, I think they're just going to need a bit of time uh, mm -hmm. to get to get back to their peak if they need it. Um, it could still be T1 as well. It's hard to know. I mean, with the rumors, you know, it's... I, I agree with John on the, the sentiment he had earlier. You know, I, I do have a lot more faith in someone like Anna joining the team. So, you know, maybe if, you know, you gave him a bit of time, he was motivated, maybe he could, you know, he could show up and get it done for T1. But okay. I think Boom just, I think Boom stays at the top. I, they just look too, even with a random POS1, they just look too good. And we're okay. talking about a great POS1 coming in. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that Boom is probably still going to be at the top. Okay, even that's Randy, John. Randy back. Even to if it's Randy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. If, if if it's Randy back and all the rumors are wrong, do no, it. That's not gonna be happen. Want to see Randy back? <laughs> no, no, no that's not gonna be happen. Back. That's not gonna be happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking on behalf of my uh, my ex bosses, Gary. That's not gonna be happen. <laughs> that's not gonna be happen. <laughs> but okay, oh, guys, that's that's a. Uh, great talk with you guys. Thank you for coming to my channel, to my podcast. Thank you to Mike uh, uh, accepting my invitation. John, thank you for introducing me to Mike. You guys are awesome. And I wish you nothing but good luck on the regional finals, of course, and for the next season. Um, yeah, wait for my invitation for the next episode. Goodbye, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank Bye. you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Bye-bye.